Good morning. Whoa, boy, look at that sun. Hallelujah. May it lift our head up in hope. And uh, it's blazing today. I don't know if it's blazing through that video that you're seeing now, but I, I thank you for being with me. This, uh, you know, before I, I like to speak to, to speak to you, I want to speak to God first. And uh, this is, Lord, let me pray. Lord, lead me in what to say. Speak through me, to me and through me, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. The first thing I want to say is a memory verse, Proverbs 24, 11. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Again, Proverbs 24, 11. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. And I hope you will join with me in doing that in life. And I think of those who are stumbling to the slaughter are those who are committing suicide. And if that's something you, you're you thinking of, uh, I just want to share that uh, about 40 years ago, I was thinking about it too. And thank God I didn't do that. And uh, there is a way. Keep looking for a way to go on. There is a way, a right way to go through uh, whatever you're going through in life. And I think of a, a, a young man I worked with and uh, got to know some, friendly with. And I've shared this a long time ago on a video, I believe. And uh, came one, another, one time to pick up some stuff with the tractor trailer and uh, I was looking for him to load my, the tractor trailer and uh, asked where he was and uh, his best friend said he uh, committed suicide. Young man. And uh, how tragic, you know? I always seemed friendly, didn't seem depressed to me. That's why we should be aware of, of what people, uh, something, go, going through something maybe uh, that will trigger us to tell us that maybe this person can use, use encouragement. Uh, we should be aware of that to try to help people not to commit suicide or ourselves. I'm thinking ourselves to commit suicide. I have to think that the man just thought that his situation was so impossible that um, he had no other way out, which is wrong. Or if he thought that people would be better without him. Uh, and, and that's so wrong because I'll tell you how it ended up with his suicide that, uh, and I believe he never would have wanted this to happen, that his eight-year-old daughter found him hanging in their garage dead. I knew that man would never want to hurt his daughter that way. But when someone commits suicide, you have no control of who's going to find you dead. Do you want that? Would you have wanted someone that you loved to find you dead? hanging and believe me in a mess because I I know what death is and when someone dies after they die their body evacuates and it's horrible and uh, you don't want to put somebody through that there is a way to go on and uh, and I believe the Lord you keep seeking a way and you go to God I tell you you maybe you don't believe in God at all and at that time, I was thinking of uh, ending my life. I'd lost my faith. My dad had died a miserable, cruel death, cancer. And uh, I prayed for him to be healed. And God didn't heal him. I believed God would. And when God didn't heal him, uh, keep us with a, keep a, him with us, uh, I, I just packed all my Bibles up and stopped believing in God. Yeah. And uh, so, but I was wrong. I realized that God did heal him. He took him to heaven and made him well forever. And someday I'll see him again, I believe. With my dad had faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I believe. And here's a scripture verse. It's from uh, Luke chapter 1. And 
scripture verse my mother as a boy uh, taught me. And I didn't believe it at first, listened to it for many years, until I finally saw that God was real, Jesus was real. And, I was, and God brought me back to him after that time I didn't believe in him, stopped believing in him, rather. So here, here's the scripture it says, uh, nothing, for nothing will be impossible with God. For nothing will be impossible with God. And whatever situation you're going through, come to God. And nothing is impossible for him to straighten out in your life. You may think it's impossible. Come to God. He'll show you a way, I believe. Seek and you'll find. Seek God you'll find a way. He is the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but through me. So in this scripture, this is the this is a scripture about Mary having the angel come to her and tell her that she's going to bear the Son of God. So here we go, Luke chapter 1, verse 30. And the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. All right? He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever in his kingdom and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Now the other uh, birth narrative of Jesus we have in Matthew chapter 1, verses 20-25. And thank God I have that as a memory verse. We'll see how my memory is. <laughs> All right. Uh, the situation, uh, 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 it starts like this. Matthew 1, 20 through 25. Uh, behold, and it, but as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him. But as he considered this, and that person was Joseph, who was betrothed to this Mary, meaning he was legally pledged to be married to her. He wasn't married to her, but he was legally pledged to be married to her. And he was thinking about not marrying her because she was found with child. And he knew it wasn't his, his child. And uh, right here we understand the, how Mary conceived. It was by the Holy Spirit, no man. Okay, That's why Jesus, he came from heaven to be conceived as, a, a, as God the Son in, in the womb of, of Mary by the Holy Spirit. So that's the setting for Matthew 1, 20 through 25. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Get that, the name Jesus. You shall call, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Because Jesus means the Lord saves. God saves, saves, Yahweh saves. All right. Name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Quote, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, end of quote, which means God with us. God with us. Jesus coming from heaven, Jesus being God the Son, the Son of God, 
comes from heaven is conceived in Mary and, and he's born as the son of, of God, the son of man. So back to that memory verse, is, it, it goes on and says, and, and Joseph woke from sleep. And Joseph woke from sleep. And when he woke from sleep, he took his wife, but knew her not until she had given birth to a son. And he called his name Jesus. And that is the Jesus that will save us from perishing. So pray with me, all right? Phew! <laughs> Take this sweater off. That, that sun, how many were 93 million miles away? And it's burning me up here. You, you, you getting burned up too? Oh, pray with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you have been eternal with the Father and that you and the Father and the Holy Spirit made it possible for you to come to this earth, be born as a man, a holy, righteous man who was able to go to the cross and have our sins laid upon you. That God would lay the sins of the world upon you on that cross and you would bear our sins there and you, I believe, were crucified, died in my place, bearing my sin, taking the penalty of wrath and death for my sin when you died on that cross, Jesus. I turn away from my sin, Jesus, and I turn to you, Jesus, as the Son of God who rose from the dead and you defeated death so that you can give me your righteousness, that you can give me give us, give us your righteousness, give us your forgiveness of all our sins, and give us new life. And we are born again when we believe in your death for our sins and our place, in your resurrection. And we turn from those sins, and we turn to you, Jesus. Be our Lord. Live in us. Come in us, Lord Jesus. Live in us, O oh Lord Jesus as our Lord, our God, our Savior, who forgives our sins. And guide us in truth and show us the way through this life because, Jesus, you are the way. Give us the strength to live. You give us new life in you. You give us yourself. You give us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control when you come in us. You make us anew. And may we live in that new life and not worry, but take everything to you and know that nothing is impossible with you. And you will show us through everything in this life until that day we meet you face to face in heaven. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. That was your prayer. Your Jesus lives inside you and will give you life with him now and forever and show us the way through every day and walk with us. Our friend that loves us so much he died for us is with us to talk to us, to motivate us, show us. He, he gives us his word to teach us that we can go to the Bible. And may we do that, Lord, and, and have hope in our life. May we go to your creation in the sun and let it lift our head in hope because it declares your glory. And may we rejoice in you where the joy of the Lord is our strength, that we have you, God, who loves us so much with an endless love. Amen. Thank you for being with me. Jesus loves you.